Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this really quick video, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing lathing that I did with polygons, except with curves this time. Because a lot of people are asking, you know, how come you don't use curves? And I said it was a little bit easier to explain with polygons, but why not? I'll show you curves too. And the, the screw modifier works the same way. So ready? Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of El Cubo and I'm going to go to add curve and for this time I'll just say Bezier curve okay and it gives us this little curve down here now in order to work the way that I want to show you in this video how this is really going to be quick and painless I'm just going to hit Z up here okay Z it's a fast way to just throw yourself into the Z orthographic which you can also do by hitting 7 on the numeric keypad same thing okay it just goes top down view so if I want to get at this curve, it just gives me this, this uh, simple curve here. I can just hit tab and I can now select these points. Okay, we got these two points and these points have these little handles. Okay, like Bezier curves in Illustrator. So if I were to take these and I hit G on the keyboard, I can drag them around and move them around. Okay, you can also use like the, the move tool or the transform tool or anything. Okay, G's a holdover from previous versions of Blender. It works just fine here, and a lot of people are used to it. So you can just hit the G key, drag, okay? Select what you want, hit the G key, move it. Select, G key. And another cool thing is if you want more of these points, you could hit E for extrude, and that gives you more. Okay, E for extrude gives you more. And then you can just kind of play with these. Hit G and move them around and you know, get whatever you want. Now, as long as we are on this side of the line, okay, it's important for, for spinning and lathing here that you don't cross the line. Okay, it's kind of like crossing the streams is, is really bad. Okay, you don't, you don't want to cross this, the streams. But when you get something that's kind of cool, you know, you're happy with, right, you hit tab, and now you can just use the same operator we used, the same modifier that we used on the polygons when I did the bottle tutorial, which is linked up here. Same thing, modifier, use a screw modifier, which somebody aptly said should be called spin, and I kind of agree. Okay, spin, screw, screw, modifier, and there we go. Okay, and that looks nothing like what you thought it would look like, right? So you just go over here to axis, and you just change Z to X, and there's your whatever the heck you made. Bowling pin, leg lamp, I, I don't know, whatever, right? And cool thing is you can still hit tab, you can go back and you can still go ahead and if you want, you can go into orthographic view, which makes this better. And you can start moving these things around, hit G, move them around. And you have kind of lots and lots of control. And a cool thing is that modifier is already there. So you can hit E and you can continue on your, your way. So there, now we have a, a lamp. All right. So hopefully that helps, quick and dirty, really easy, and it works the same way here, okay? You, you still have the angles that you can change, and everything is the same as that other tutorial, but you're just using curves instead. So in a few minutes, you now know how to use the curve modifier with the spin tool, and you can do really cool stuff with curves as well. So if you wanted to do the beer bottle tutorial with curves, you could do the same thing we just did, okay? So hopefully you got something out of this video and that helps. If it does, uh, let me know in the comments or uh, hit the little subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, hit the like button. I don't care, do something cool. Go play, make something fun. All right, so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.